Hello, hello everyone. My name is Shantae John Toussaint. Sorry, I just kicked the camera. Um, I don't have a name yet for my channel. I'm thinking to go with Shantae's Sister Lock Quest um, or Quest to Lockage. Or you guys let me know what you think the title of my journey slash quest should be. But just to tell you a little bit about myself, I am a speech language pathologist and I am a pet consultant. I love to help people. I love to help animals. And basically my whole goal in life is just to add more value and purpose in the lives of humans and animals. Help pet parents to be more proactive in their approach when it comes to care so that they can have their pet for a longer period of time. Um, yeah, I probably have some different stations on my channel i guess you could say <laughs> one for my speech and language business and one for my pet consultant business but i am going to have a station on my channel that is all about sister locks so today is my first video it is march 23rd i'm actually using my camera to to tape myself with so uh yeah i think it's march 23rd um, the coronavirus is in, not in full effect here in the Washington, D.C., um, but, you know, I have been self-quarantined now for about four days. Um, thank goodness I have two home businesses, um, so I'm fortunate. But I am still going out to get my consultation locks. Why? Because it's going to be myself and the loctician. Both of us don't have any complaints as of right now. And I'll still be taking my precautions. So I washed my hair last night and I let it air dry. Just like she said, I have put nothing in my hair. Um, Yeah, so you can see my hair is rather long. I think it's about 10 inches from what I measured. I don't know if I even measured correctly. <clears throat> so yeah, that's going to be pricey if I decide to keep it at 10 inches. But I'm thinking maybe to cut it down to 8, maybe like 2 inches less because I know for a fact... It's going to shrink up in the lock pattern and I don't want it to be too short. So you guys let me know what you think about that. But um, I've been doing a lot of research online and for me personally, I have been natural now. I did my big chop. First of all, I went natural four different times. So every single time that the length got, I guess, to a point where it was hard for me to manage. And this is like back in a couple of years back, for like 10, 12 years plus. Um, and we're before the whole revolution with products and YouTube videos. So I, I had no one to really tell me what to put in my hair. It was dry all the time. So I always went back to um, flat ironing it and, <clears throat> excuse me, one time back to perming it. So the very last time I did that was 2015. I cut out the perm and I did my big chop. My husband, I, I was in Trinidad and Tobago. And I did it there and I came back, he picked me up and my hair was like this, but it was a little bit shorter. And I had this TWA, teeny weeny afro and <laughs> I told him nothing, I sent him no pictures and he was just silent all the way back home. And then finally I asked him, he was just like, I just gotta get used to it. It was so funny, but he was fine with it. He's fine with me doing my sister logs. He's fine with my loose natural hair, Um, yeah. He just loves me. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. So yeah, so as of late, like I said, I have two businesses and you know, life has just been crazy. Um, I started my speech and language business about a year and a half ago and I have a full caseload. I provide in-home services. So I'm in the car a lot, driving from client to client because I wanted to give that convenience factor and also have the individual feel more independent in their abode. I mean, no one wants to feel trapped in their own house. So I provide in-home services and teletherapy services. So a lot of my clients right now, due to the virus, I'm seeing them through the computer uh, via teletherapy. And then my other business, I'm on the phone a lot because again, it's a home-based business. So I'm presenting the information to possible partners. I am doing free pet assessments um, via the computer, via in-person. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of just being out and about and my hair has gotten to the point where I have neglected it. It is my, my scalp has suffered. I've recently had to get medicated dandruff shampoo because every time I say I'm going to wash it, it's like I have to conduct life on the weekends. 
so it's like work during the week and then life on the weekends and it's just like uh, to wash and spend two days because i don't put heat on my hair so i spend after the wash i spend one day just you know putting the moisturizer in twisting it and stretching it letting that dry and then the next day styling it so i mean yeah it can it can be a lot so i'm just to the point where i just want to wake up and just be able to walk out of the house now i know in the beginning it's going to take some management but it's still not going to be as much that's necessary right now so like for me right now i would actually if, if i was still working and not on you know quarantine and everybody shut everything down um yeah i would throw on a scarf and i would go to work it would look very professional too and yeah because i just would not want to deal with this especially when it gets all the way dry oh my gosh <laughs> yeah it, it, it flashbacks to eight years old getting hit by my mom with the comb because i wouldn't sit still and i'm just crying out every minute but now it's me doing it to myself so yeah that's what i feel like don't get me wrong i feel like the products that i have they do moisten my hair they do work well it's just the time factor that's like I, I just my mind is just like you could be doing this you could be doing that and a little bit of that also goes to organization but hey i like the sister locks i like the versatility of it i like the fact that you're not in need of a lot of products i can wash my hair more frequently to deal with this whole dandruff situation that's going on so yeah i'm excited um my loctician her name is harmony with harmony styles llc and um she has been doing locks now for three years i went on her instagram so i had about six different consultant numbers right one consultant is a brand ambassador r certified r certified is where they have been certified to teach you as a person to con basically manage your hair and do what's best for your hair <laughs> taking care of your hair um but she was two hours away so when i was really thinking about it because i was gonna go i, I want to go to the best i don't want to be ripped off i don't want to have issues or anything like that but when i thought about the cost of retightening and then the travel time and then the traffic because it's in virginia and i live in dc it just did not seem feasible to go through all of that and then i spoke to two other people that i found on the sister lock um website but neither of them could present pictures of their gridlock via text or email. I had to go to the consultation first to see it. And I was just like, look, and they didn't live near either. They live more like Maryland area. And I'm just like, look, I feel like as a professional, you want to have that accessibility, especially in this day and age with technology. So I called my cousin who has locks. Um, I don't know if she has interlocking locks or palm rolled locks but they're they're thicker they're not sister locks but hers are gorgeous and um where she goes to get those done there's a uh, harmony is there or she got harmony's information i don't i really don't know how but she sent me her information and she has an instagram and her instagram is very well done so i got to see multiple heads um with the grid pattern i actually spoke to her on the phone i asked some questions um, she answered really well. She seemed very professional, down to earth. So yeah, so I'm going to go get these test locks put in and hopefully I can get my hair completed sooner than later. That's my hope. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me on my quest. Uh, and yeah, uh, please give me any feedback on the oils that you guys use because i have a feeling i'm going to need oils i'm going to talk to harmony about that i have like 10 questions <laughs> just from watching the videos um on what i'm going to ask her and everything like that but as you guys can see i get a lot of knots and i have to detangle if i don't detangle them then the knots get even worse and it's an ordeal getting through this bird's nest as my cousin would say it's an ordeal so I am so ready for the sister locks. I'm ready for phase one of it. I don't care. My mom's a cosmetologist, so I'll I'll get through phase one or whatever. My mom actually is not in favor of me getting sister locks. She just doesn't like the idea of permanence, but she doesn't understand just how versatile they can be as well. So it is what it is at the end of the day, right? Right so thank you all for joining in i can't wait to show you the video i'm gonna see if she will allow me to maybe take some pictures or whatever the case may be when i'm there 
Um, and yeah, you guys will see the locks once they're in. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and all that jazz. Okay. Have a good one, everyone.